Hey, it's Richard Quo. I think one of the most beautiful things that someone can do is to just be vulnerable. My friend Summer just posted on her Facebook wall a video called Real Beauty. This is a vlog by Alex G. If you don't know who Alex G is, Alex G is a musician. Uh, she's really popular. She has about a million and a half subscribers on YouTube. And she posted this video called Real Beauty in response to a video she did about a year ago. This is one of those videos that I just said, you know what, whoa, I gotta stop what I'm doing right now and uh, I got to make a video about this. So let me show you a quick, maybe 10 to 20 second clip so you kind of get a feel of uh, what it is. What's up people, it's me. Me. Not a version of myself that I wanna put on the internet for you to think that I've got it all together. I'm not a face full of makeup. My hair all done right, just hot and sweaty in LA. Shooting a video because I think that this is important. After watching this video, I was really interested because Alex talks about uh, how she made a video about a year ago and uh, on the same topic. So I want to show you that for a, a good 10, 10 to 20 seconds. Here we go. What's up people? It is me. I am Alex. And if you're here watching this video, then I have something that I need to tell you. You are beautiful. There, I said it. And you don't believe me? Well, that's too bad, because I just said it, it's on the internet, and everything on the internet is, you know, valid. Literally after watching this clip that Alex G posted about a year ago, I was telling myself, like, I don't really care to watch this uh, past a few seconds. Alex G's video, the new video, really was really inspiring, because inspiring on so many different levels. First of all, Alex G, uh, if you watch this video, that'd be freaking awesome. Uh, but I'm just gonna give a quick shout out to Alex G. First of all, okay, Alex G in general is a really uh, attractive person. Now, when I look at Alex G's old video, honestly, I'm not that attracted to her. I think she's pretty, but she, I don't find her attractive. But this new video, uh, where she's not wearing makeup, where, where she's just being herself, uh, I don't know if she's wearing foundation, whatever it is. Either way, just her authenticity, her vulnerability of just sharing her faults and saying that she's wrong, to me is so attractive. Like it's, I think like I get who she is in this new video of hers versus the video back then. So why are we talking about this? We're talking about this because I feel like this is how so many of us live our lives and uh, myself included. I always feel like I have to look a certain way and that old video of Alex G is exactly how I used to be uh, in my everyday life all the time. I used to always script myself and if you watch some of my older videos, that's how I used to be. I used to uh, practice, practice, practice over and over again and quite frankly, this video right now that I'm recording, this isn't the first take of my video. I've had so many retakes because I didn't know how to get into that flow and I got really nervous. So. This is maybe my fourth take or something like that. And it's not because I want to be scripted because I'll, I'm just free flowing right now, but it's because sometimes I just don't know how to express myself the right way. And I think part of that is the insecurity that I'm not gonna say the right thing and that I, ha that I have to say the right thing. And once I get into these flows that I normally do, uh, I know it's very natural and maybe you're inspired by it, I don't really know. Uh, but I think for me, I gotta work on the courage to just trust myself in whatever I say and th so that first time it's going to be real, it's going to be authentic, it's going to be impactful. Uh, somehow, right now I'm in my flow where I can just keep talking, talking, talking. Uh, so I kudos to me, but you know, I'm still working on it too. When I look at Alex G's new video, that's kind of what I aspire to do. I aspire to be 100% authentic. I aspire to tell people, yo, just be yourself uh, and just recognize that our society our society creates this culture that we can't be ourselves, that we have to look a certain way, that we have to be that perfect 10. I recently met uh, Pat Flynn and uh, John Lee Dumas. They're two, uh, two of the top entrepreneur podcasters uh, on iTunes right now. And uh, they're, making, they're making six figures every single month. And let's talk about John Lee Dumas right now. Uh, he's the podcast for uh, Entrepreneur on Fire. The last month he made half a million dollars in one month. I was like, holy cow, how do you do that? I went on his website and literally he lists out every single detail, almost every single detail, breaks down how he made his $500,000, down to what company is sponsoring him, down to the products, sales he has, everything. And that level of vulnerability to me is so inspiring. Like it, it reminds me that if we wanna make a difference in people's lives, 
that the best way to do it is to just be open about it, to be real about it. I feel like there's a movement going on. And older people, if you're watching this, please correct me if I'm wrong, but maybe this is just because I grew up in the sheltered bubble. In this past year, I feel like our world is becoming so much more authentic. Like people are being real. Maybe it's just because of people I surround myself with, but I'm so excited to like see all these people be like, hey, you know what? This is me. This is how I'm gonna live my life. And I'm just gonna be real about it. You know, I'm, I'm, I'm not perfect. Uh, and I think instead of seeing things as, oh, the goal is to be perfect in life. Now I see everything in my life like, wow, everyone's just on their own journey to, to really just find themselves, to, to be vulnerable within themselves and to just, to embrace their imperfections about themselves. Here's a legit question that I really want to know. Do you think our world is becoming a more vulnerable place? Uh, mostly in the in the past few years, in the past decade, with uh, social media, with YouTube, uh, with seeing these up, up and coming leaders, or is it something that I'm just making up because of myself and the pers perspective shift that I had within myself? What do you think? Uh, I'd love to hear. Leave your comments down below. Thank you all for watching this. And uh, again, I want to thank Alex G for sharing that video. And uh, I also want to give a huge thank you to everyone out there who is truly being themselves, who are being courageous enough to be vulnerable with the world with me and uh, honestly all you, all the people who are being just vulnerable being themselves have really inspired me to become who I am today I look forward to joining all of you in this upper echelon of, of vulnerability and um, yeah I, I hope that we could all join up together in being ourselves and being vulnerable and being okay and loving ourselves have a good week and we will catch you next week peace